marriage is serious. Marriage is a step that a lot of people don't like to take, but it's a big step that God honors. And I am glad today that you guys are taking the step because God honors marriage. And once you guys finish this today, it's all up. You don't have to look back. God is going to bless this union today. We had to ride from Baltimore, Maryland, all the way down here to Norfolk, right? My hands were so cold on the bike that I couldn't move them. Like, they actually just, like, kind of, if you can imagine. So we got our clutch over here, and we got our brake over here. My hands froze up. Like, I could not move my hands. And Sean was like, nah, man, we got to keep going. We're going to make it home. It's no problem. It is what it is, right? Because he's a man of integrity, right? So as we're going, I'm like, Sean, we can get a room. We can spend the night. Like, we can go back in the morning. It is 19 degrees out here. It's raining, sleeting, snowing. Sean is like, nah, we got to keep going. I'm like, yo, why are you trying to, you know, keep going? You got a 30-inch rim. I got a 26. We're riding motorcycles on the way back, right? And Sean was like, yo, I told Sam I'm going to be home tonight. We're going home. And that's it, right? I met this dude at a bike night, like I said, because of Candace. From day one, we've been like bread and butter. Just, it was a natural match, you know what I mean? Uh, we got a lot of miles in together, and there's no better bond than just getting some miles in with somebody like that. So that's how we came to be here today. When he called me and told me to be here, I said, no questions asked, I'm there. Because he called me, he said, you know what? He's like, man, I love this girl. I said, do you? He said, I do. He's like, will you be there for me? No questions asked. I'm here, my friend, I'm here. Love came in, unex in its unexpected ways. Mine started to blur and soften, and two stories became one. One story, one love. Her perfect fairy tale came true. Sean, you were everything she ever wanted and needed. I want you. I want to welcome you into our hectic family. It's crazy, but it's worth it. She's worth it. <laughs> she is smart, she is courageous, and she is so strong. She can carry the whole world on her shoulders if you let her. She's a warrior, but she's also gentle and she's so sweet. Sean, this is to you. I need you to promise me you will protect her and you will be there for her and you will wipe every single tear from her face. I love you both with all my heart. Congratulations to the both of you. And I'm a so happy and a proud mother. I'm not only giving a daughter away, I'm also inheriting a son. And, and Sean, I'm gonna be the best mother-in-law that you would ever have. I will treat you with love because you know why? I have two sons, Samindra has two brothers. And whoever is the mother-in-law, I want the mother-in-law to dish out that love to them, what I'm gonna dish out to you. And I don't have too, much, too many words to say to you and Samindra because I know you're gonna love her and protect her. But communication. Y'all speak about everything. Don't leave nothing, no secrets, okay? And I pray and ask God that you and Sean may grow old together. Now, Serena was never about us playing house. She was the one that always wanted us to change it up, change up the scenarios, play hospital, play vacation, anything but love stories and marriage. And Serena, Samindra and I were not having it. Um, we always wanted to make sure in every scenario our Barbies found the one. Absolute hopeless romantics. <laughs> Flash forward years later in our 20s and Sammy has found her one. Sean, you've married the best of us. She is gentle, 
fun-loving, empathetic, and so intelligent. But in marrying the best of us, I know she, that she is only capable of choosing the best. So I know you must be a mirror of her. I thank you for loving my sister and for giving her a safe place to feel loved and accepted. We joked during her bachelorette that we're losing the three Paul girls, but I can say on behalf of us that we're so excited for you to join our, the Pauls and I mean, the, join the Bells together and the Pauls and the Bacchuses were huge. So um, my wish for the two of you is endless love and laughter and happiness. And always remember that your cousin has both of your backs forever. Do not listen to second opinion or opinions of others. That means traditions. That means a whole lot of hoopla that you're going to be hearing. But challenge it. Listen to them. Challenge them. And if it's not good for you, put it aside. Because the walk is yours. They're yours. And you're going to make it the way you want to make it for you. Right? So challenge every opinion, challenge every tradition. And I'm like, even now you guys are breaking some of them because they're kind of some norms that you guys just blew by and make things for yourself. Continue doing it, discover each other, and have a wonderful, wonderful life. I've been practicing and training to get stronger, to protect my sisters. And I've always missed the chance, always. But I realized that it's not up to me anymore. It's up to you, my dude. And I've been looking at you, the way you carry yourself, how you approach certain situations, especially whenever she calls me, she's like, Dev, I was angry, tell me about it. I don't need to, Dev. What? Me and Sean spoke and Sean fixed it. Oh my God. <laughs> I took my shoes off. <laughs> Sean, as her big brother, I will always watch out for her. And since we're family now, I got your back too. But I'm passing the big shoes <laughs> off to you. And I know, I know for a fact that you can fill them, my G. I appreciate you. I love you. And I respect you. Sam, me, you, and Serena, three amigos for forever, dog. I love you guys. Thank you. Samindra, there are three words that are stronger than I love you. Today, I stand before you and all of our friends and family and say, I choose you. I choose you over all others. I choose you to share happiness with. I choose you to care for. I choose you to have a family with. I choose you to grow with. And I choose you to love and forever, always. Love forever and always. I love you. You are my best friend. I love you with all my heart. And stand here before all our friends and family on this, the happiest day of my life. I want nothing more than to share my future with you, my triumphs and my challenges, my joys and my sorrows. Together, I know we can accomplish the life we both dream of living. I love you.
take Samitra to be your lawful wedded wife, to love, to cherish, to hold, to honor, to share your cell phone? <laughs> Demetria, do you take Sean to love, to cherish, to honor, to obey, and to share your cell phone? <laughs> I do. Sean and Symmetrius, I now pronounce you guys as man and wife. You may now kiss your bride. I'm so grateful for how we have fun together, laugh together, and all the moments we share. I will always choose you. I love you today, tomorrow, forever, and always. Wife, best friend, baby, groupie, snoodle, today and forever, I forever promise to love and care for you unlike any other love or care or care you have ever received. Today is the first day of forevermore. I love you, my life.